if you're trying to get recommendations from me about mastitis, <laughs> please don't. Because I literally don't know. So if any of you know anything, please suggest it in the comments. That's Hi guys, it is exactly 2.30 a.m. and the start of your 24 hours with me. I'm currently pumping. This is the first, I guess, pump session of the morning, if you want to call it. Ethan just had his diaper changed. He is asleep, so it was like mission impossible to try and change his diaper without waking him up. I'm just sitting here pumping. I have some sort of energy because of chocolate. It's the only way that can keep me kind of awake. So it is almost half five and I'm pumping again. Hubby is waiting for Ethan to uh, fall back asleep. He just ate and had his diaper change. I haven't had chocolate yet. So I have no energy. Usually we'd be like, okay, it's, you know, morning time, just get up sort of thing. But I think we're gonna try and sleep again. That's what we've been doing lately. And wake up the third time that he wakes up at night. The second bottle tonight that he's having. He just oh never mind. I was just gonna say he did a massive poop and sounds like he's doing more. Good job. This is concentrated face. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Daddy? So, I'm, I'm surviving. You're doing a good job. No, I need that coffee. Yeah, we'll get sleep and then we get coffee. So it is almost half night and we just got up. Realize you guys are staring all morning at my morning face, so I'm so sorry about that. But um, Ethan woke up around 7.45. That really only gave us like two hours barely of sleep. So we put him on the little lounger that he has and had him in the middle of the bed with us. He fell right back asleep. I'm about to pump because I just realized that I haven't pumped in, I wanna say four hours, which is not good in my circumstance because I'm kinda healing of the second time round of having mastitis and I should technically be pumping um, to every two to three hours and I was just so tired I tried to sleep as much as I could and ended up sleeping for four, 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 oh my god I can't speak for almost four hours so I'm about to take a hot shower try and massage my breasts as much as I can and pump because I definitely feel Heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just burped. I know. I'm going to just get a big burpee. Good morning. Why my man looks red? Good morning. My man looks like, looks a, brown. like a little tomato. E. Mm. Mm. Ethan. You got to head bump, bro. Good morning. <laughs> He's like, Ma, it's too early for cameras, girl. Mm. Mm, Good chua. morning. Mm, He's definitely getting thick. Oh, yeah, little thickums. Little thickums. <laughs> I love it. Look at, oh my way, look at them tongue and thighs, look at them tongue and thighs. <laughs> He's like, what the heck are you guys doing? Yeah, so the room is a whole mess that so you guys can oh, yeah. tell. Look, we got this diapers. is a real live situation. You got a diaper. Luckily, it's just pee. Bottle. I think everything's everywhere. Pillows on the floor. But this is the lounger that I was telling you guys that he just slept in. You got a good little nap. 
Yes, sir. Now he's looking at his buff wing. Right. Literally. Luckily, there's one in every room. You have a friend in every room. He yeah. has a big booger, I can see. Oh, yeah? Right here. Mm -hmm. No, just kidding. He was, <laughs> he was like, mm. No, I was mm, not going to do that to you, right? sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Your poopy face. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that is about to be diaper number seven in. I don't know how long, Ethan. I don't know how long. I think it's diaper number seven, unless daddy was being, you know, over exaggerating. So it is almost half 10 and we are doing some playtime. We would like to go out for a walk. It's perfect weather, to be honest. It's quite cloudy. It's not too hot. As you guys know, we live in Florida, so it is quite boiling. Yeah. We're gonna go out? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You're so cute. Mm, yes, he's like, I know I am. And you got to clean my diaper. Ooh. Yeah. Look. Are you going to show everyone your kicking style? Daddy right now is having a little freshen up, right? Because he stinks. And... He's gonna go get coffee and I am still pumping away. I know it was like half nine and I told you guys I was pumping. <gasps> Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you? <laughs> it was half nine when I told you guys that I started pumping. It's almost half ten and I'm still pumping. Honestly, this is just what happens. I don't know if I'm prone to getting mastitis, but I've had it twice and had to be on antibiotics. I really do not wish that on anybody. Yeah, I try my best after every pumping session um, to massage. Even midway through it, I massage. I pump for 15 minutes, massage a little, and then pump again. And I'm having to do it every three hours, even at nighttime, because at nighttime, he sleeps for longer. So, you know, boobs are not getting used so I have to pump no one ever tells you that breastfeeding can be quite difficult it's been a big struggle for us I have to admit breastfeeding started off rough then it got really good and now it's a bit all over the place at the moment ever since I had um, mastitis the first time one of my breasts has not been the same and of course he likes one breast and that has caused an oversupply on that one hey monkey Look at his cute little feet. You prefer breastfeeding or giving him the bottle? Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. Is it because of like a connection between the two of you? Like why? Yeah. And I think it's easier, less bottle cleaning. That's also true. All you yeah. have to do is just slip out the boob, boom, boom. And pumping is annoying. You have to pump, you have to massage. If I were to be a female, I don't know if I'd rather just give him the bottle because for me it's so much easier because you're the one providing you the milk in the bottle. Yeah, formula. Don't have to do no uh, sucking, don't have to deal with mentitis, titties, whatever. Mastitis. Mastitis. Yeah, mastitis. Mastitis. That's what I originally called it. Yeah, you don't have to deal with mastitis. Um, but apparently that's not that common. I mean, that's what I read. It just happened to get you twice. Twice. And I don't even know if technically I recovered from the first one because I mm. stopped the antibiotics. True. You would have figured, you know, you go through so much giving birth. You go through so much creating a human inside your body and still you end up having complications after giving birth. A woman's life. No, but honestly, this is why I say that I'm... This is why I really mean it when I say that I'm proud of you. Aww. And all the hard work that you've done. To provide this little thickness right here you're carrying. Thank you, baby. And your he determin thick. your determination of never giving up. No. Even when you're That's going through all the true. pain. If you had the option to like go back when you gave birth, knowing that you were gonna go through all this, will you still breastfeed or will you choose formula? Breastfeed. Yeah, even though you know you're about to go through all that pain you went through twice. Yeah. Eesh. 
Sheesh. It's good for him. I know. I guess I'm a little selfish. I don't like seeing you in the pain. Ah, I'll be fine. You see, that's the thing. Like, when I see you go through that, I don't like it. Yeah, this is why I said, like, if this little little thing here ever decides to get rude with you in the future, he's about to catch one. It is half oh. 12. It's been, I think, two hours since we last recorded. You can see my nursing pad. I'm all over the place. <laughs> right now, he only naps better on us, so I literally sat here with him. I am doing the hacker trick where you put Epson or whatever it's called salt inside your hacker with warm water and then put that on your breast to I think it's open up the milk ducts to get the excess milk out I'm not really sure if that helps yeah, I was sitting here with Ethan on me and I started feeling some pain on the breast that I just had mastitis on. And if you guys notice, she's wearing like a fleece and sweatpants. She wasn't wearing this earlier. And normally oh, whenever... Was, yeah, usually when I get mastitis, I'll get um, cold. cold and then get a fever. Yeah. I don't know if it was that or if it's just the fact that I'm tired. <laughs> no matter how much we clean, it ends up happening anyway. But this is just the realness. <laughs> the comfort of the couch and then we have dishes to do and don't act like i can't see the bed is not made <laughs> what i have learned is um take things slowly right ethan comes first and then my health second and me last and <laughs> the husband last um because yeah in the beginning I felt like I was constantly trying to keep the house tidy and everything and that was getting me oh, that was getting me stressed out. Oh, mm, big boy. But well, how long do you think you're gonna do this now? I leave it on for like fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Alright. Do you think that actually helps? I don't know, but I'm squeezing the milk and it's fascinating to watch it come out. <laughs> <laughs> This feel like My it. nipples are purple. It looks like that looks like it hurts, so. Not really. No. Just where it's hurting, I'm just putting pressure to get the milk out. It kind of hurts a little bit. No, it does look like it hurts. It's pinching. And after this, do you have to do it on the other boob or just in the one that's actually hurting? I don't know. This one's hurting just a little bit, but I don't know if it's because I, you know, squeezed the shit out of it this morning. If you're trying to get recommendations from me about mastitis, please don't, because I literally don't know. So if any of you know anything, please suggest it in the comments. That's what I was leading, like. But I literally have a list of everything that everyone's ever told me. So I'm sure if whoever commented, I have it on my list. Mm. If I was to do everything that everyone told me, I have nothing else to do all day. Like, my whole day will be gone. It's an uncomfortable feeling. It's not hurting. Mm -hmm. other day my god it was like a ball and it was just painful like bending over like this hurts holding him standing up hurts mm. and, uh, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> my brain malfunction right now No one hurts the baby? Yeah, because homeboy doesn't like sleeping in his little crib. So my chest, for some reason, seems to be more comfortable than wifey's. Please tell them so like that they don't think I'm just a lazy sack of potato on the couch. Well, we don't care what people think. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, Daddy does a lot of stuff that you guys probably, yeah, no, definitely you don't see on camera. Does a lot of stuff. And you take the night shift. Yes. And he doesn't sleep in the daytime to get his energy back. So, yeah. There's going to be people saying, Oh, but he shouldn't sleep on the chance. That's not good to sleep on the chance. My mother 
you get to use to sleeping on the chest. But listen, if he likes the chest, uh, I don't care. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up some other stuff and you guys are gonna come with me. <laughs> Why are we using toilet paper on a newborn? <laughs> Please explain. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'll explain. So, he had a diaper rash. It wasn't too bad or anything compared to anything else, but there's me being overprotective mom. I started wiping him with breast milk and water after every diaper change and stopped using the wipes that we were using because I thought it was that that was causing the issue. Just when he has, you know, poop, we wipe him off with the tissue very gently and then use now, what are they called? Water wipes? We use water wipes to um, wipe him down. I don't see what is the issue of using oh. toilet paper. <laughs> There's no issue, it's just like I've never seen it before. Okay, um, yeah, just to remove the excess poop and then we wipe him down. The tissue that we use is really soft, so yeah. And then to dry him as well, we use like the little um, tissue. I know we used to use a cloth, but I don't know why we started using a tissue instead. I'm pumping again, as per usual. He's not very happy because he's hungry. I feel like I tidied up and everything got messy again. Again. Um, again. <laughs> Again, I'm about to try and do my toenails because I haven't done my toenails since I was last pregnant, which was six weeks ago. Six weeks? Really six weeks? You know what that means? No. Um, I haven't had the clearance, yeah. I'm about to try and do my feet and just realize that I don't have any nail varnish left, so yeah. Yeah, got a crying baby. He will soon settle down. Hubby's trying to edit a video. And that's how it's going so far. And we still didn't go out for a walk. <laughs> Men's is concentrating on the little stars. Isn't there like a, a baby song with something about stars? Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Oh. Bless you. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sun, 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 sun. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how this song goes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm gonna have to look up the lyrics so I know how to sing this song to you so you can fall asleep. <laughs> But this look up, diaper was changed, he's well fed, also burped, and he got some sped up going on. Oh, right here, my oh boy, my oh boy, sorry, 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 sorry. And we got mommy over here, taking care of herself, doing her little girly things, you know, extra pretty. Does any of you guys out there have a jar of Skittles? She's addicted to Skittles. Stop lying, that was your idea. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, mine's just the sour gummy worms. So we got the feet in the water, right? Water with salt in it. No, tea tree. Oh, tea tree oil. I don't know. Oh. Shampoo? I have no idea. No idea. Now she's scraping. Well, she's grating some cheese right now. I haven't shaved my legs. Do not. <laughs> don't zoom in. Maybe you're beautiful. I know. Hairy or not, you're beautiful. You like mean I, hairy or not, you will get it. I will get it. As in, you, you want to say that to me? Oh, yeah. I get it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Harry or not, toothless or toothful mouth, whatever. Missing toe, no fingers. You still get it. Missing toe? Yeah. Only because you're missing a toe doesn't mean you won't get it. Oh, my goodness. Mm. 
Yeah, we're about to make three more of you. You know that? I remember you used to say you wanted to have multiple. What are your thoughts right now? Give us an insight. Are you willing to go through what you've been through the six weeks? At least one more time? Yeah. Yeah? You forget about it after. I think it's going to be difficult having a toddler and a newborn because you're going to have to divide attention. You're definitely going to get forgotten. I can't divide my attention <laughs> between... <laughs> It took me a second to like, <laughs> like what? Like where am I going? Oh, you made attention how, wise. I don't know how I'm supposed to give Listen, attention. Listen, all me. I need is five minutes at night time and I will not feel forgotten. I don't have five minutes. One? No. <laughs> That's a long time. My boy, you see what you're causing here? I would have sleep for five minutes. You see what you're doing, my G? Holy no, it's crap. Not Nah, it's his fault. There was days where we didn't eat, right? You and I didn't eat until like 6 p.m. I know. Because we were just exhausted, had stuff to do. That's crazy. So yeah. the more kids we have, the, the less important I'll be. Yeah, you'll go from daddy to dad to da to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Can you go to that guy, please? Oh my gosh. So I wonder, is this why in some cultures there's multiple wives? You really tried it. Huh? Daddy tried it. Oh my god. He's about to be the guy any minute. You haven't you seen all those videos and like posts and stuff? The most important thing after having kids is maintaining your a balance with your marriage if you're not as tired as me clearly you're not doing enough i think i'm never going to be because you're breastfeeding and you're doing more stuff there's things that you do that i can't do literally i just feel like guys during that time just need to have a clear understanding that the female is going through a lot there's a lot of changes and they need to be patient and you shouldn't have that pressure of like oh Six weeks. <laughs> Six weeks. <laughs> nah, bitch. They should change that shit. One year. Damn. Why should the female feel pressured? Not pressured. I'm not. Am I pressuring you? No. Jesus. But you keep joking about it. I that. joke about it. Just, you know, just testing my waters. Mm -hmm. But I'm in by no way in whatever pressuring you into anything. We are now about to have a little lunch. For the day it is currently 4 15. this is a lunch um ramen noodles and fried eggs but the ramen noodles they have a whole bunch of seasoning adobo um is it adobo on sazon yes there's so much stuff i put in <laughs> it's a whole bunch of stuff homeboy is knocked out in his little whatever this jesus basket is um jesus. But yeah, he looks very comfortable and swaddled up. We're about to enjoy this a meal. Quick meal. Yes, ma'am. Mike is over here. I'm just about to edit a little TikTok video. Um, for those who don't know, we do have a little TikTok. Do you recommend people to see our TikToks? Mm hmm Yeah? Only if you're adults. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright then. See you guys soon. Okay, so it is 6.10. I'm pumping again. <laughs> I feel like all I do is pump, eat. No, actually. Barely, you won't barely eat. eat. Deal with Ethan, deal with the apartment, and then it's time to pump again. But today, I feel like has been one of them days that just is kind of like... Not not productive because we're keeping a human alive, oh, yeah. so that's enough as it is. It's been quite mellow. Yeah, know? it's been quite quiet. Yeah. I so, don't know. But at the same time, it hasn't. It you hasn't. Know? No, because there's things to get done, you know. Oh yeah, think a lot of stuff has got done. <laughs> but I don't think that we've done. Not that we've not done a lot, but. We've not been more upbeat and done more stuff compared to other days. Yeah, her energy battery is definitely being drained by now. I put on makeup because I thought, okay, I'm gonna do videos. I'm gonna be productive 
and that didn't go to plan. Well, I'm trying to figure out what do you mean by productive? Like, I don't what even you know. Doing? I literally don't know. Like there's literally nothing to do apart from. I thought we were we were gonna do videos. I thought we were gonna go for a walk. Ended up not going. <laughs> I wanted to do his baby journal. I wanted to do some more of it. It's okay. But we then can do more stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. I don't even know. But we think he's going through a growth. I can't say it, but growth spurt, spurt. Yeah, growth spurt. He is six weeks old, and there is a growth spurt between. I think it's three to six weeks, or six weeks to eight weeks. One of them ones. Um, he's definitely a lot different today. I think he hasn't eaten a lot. You think he's eating good? Yeah, because all he does is sleep. Literally wake today, up. he's been like knocked out. Yeah, sleep. He's wake not up. usually like that though. Eat. He'll eat, change his diaper, sleep But he'll again. immediately fall asleep. Yeah. And usually he'll be up maybe like sometimes 40 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes Jesus like two hours. Yeah. But today he literally will have his diaper change, eat, and it's like okay, fall 20 asleep. minutes maybe last. Yeah. Fall asleep and then the same routine again mm -hmm. but he doesn't have anything else there's no other like symptoms and stuff so i don't think he's sick or anything mm -mm. He's good. it's just yeah he's definitely the growth lot. thing every yeah. time we look at him we're like since when did he you know honestly get bigger? today his face looks different like chunkier than yesterday so if it's past six is a movie even a good idea yeah. This is a frat process because a movie is two hours long. Okay, yeah. By the time we get food, because we're not hungry yet, by the time we get food, watch a movie, and then I do my whole hour session with my titties, tidy everything up. Will we go to bed by the time he goes to bed? I believe so. You believe so? Yeah. Apparently, three to five hundred calories are burnt every time you pump. So that's your that body. I don't you know, even know how that works because I don't even feel exhausted. like I'm eating. Yeah, but I don't even feel like I'm eating that much. Yeah, that's why you're even more exhausted. You're not eating, barely drinking any water, and um, yeah, you you are gonna feel tired. But I feel it's like okay. you're coming on my life. <laughs> it's it's gonna get better. Don't worry, everything will get better. Oh yeah, it's gone better. When we brought him home, we were going off an hour sleep. Now we're you know getting a good three hours. Out of time. Anyways, guys, we'll see you soon to see if we stuck to what we said. Yes. We'll see. So, guys, our night didn't end as we planned, which was what I predicted. We didn't get pizza. We mm. got McDonald's. McDonald's. And Sorry. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And we didn't watch a movie. We watched... YouTube videos um, and he has literally been here this whole time and I'm not complaining because <laughs> I want to get all these like cuddles as much as I can but yeah we're gonna end the night with eating McDonald's watching some videos and then I'm going to pump and spend probably an hour or so I'm forcing it maybe like 40 minutes getting like pumping and massage massage get everything out because i still have pain um but luckily no body aches no fever no chills so i'm happy about that but that is how we're gonna end our night i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe hubby's looking at me like yeah girl you better tell them <laughs> yeah we're just gonna enjoy this little moment with our little bundle of joy and i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll be sure to do some more um maybe when the day is a bit hectic yeah let us know in the comments if you guys are interested in videos like this i don't know sometimes videos like this can be entertaining to watch or like helpful or yeah, whatever yeah it's probably that idea yes <laughs> <laughs> all right then deuces everybody